Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's see what is showing up for you at this time. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, messages for Pisces. Somebody, probably an air sign or someone who may be acting cold, may be missing you and worrying you, but yet they may be blocking you or you may be blocking them. You may be worried about this person. You have the Four of Wands strength card on your mind. Five of Wands, High Priestess, Seven of Cups, Justice, and the Magician, Ace of Wands. Okay, under the deck is the, high, I'm sorry, is the Temperance card, so it could be Sagittarius. So it kind of feels like, almost feels like there's some arguing, something going on here, and so you may feel like the best thing to do is to take a break from one another. I feel like you are, you know, trying to, maybe some of you have moved out, you've done something new, Kind of like being on your own with the Four of Wands and with the Strength card, you know, trying to feel like you're not happy with the situation the way it is when I see this, but you're making the best of it and you're doing what needs to get done, whatever that means, whether that's home, family, kids, life, whatever, school, work. Could be a Libra. The first thing though I felt when I pulled this card, these cards, was that this person, okay, I got two things now coming in. One was kind of like they felt like they, like how do they, and this is gonna sound bad, but this is just what came through, so I have to say it. Like how could they get justice, like how could they get back at you, or how could they show you that they mean it, or it's kind of a mean energy, so it kind of felt like they were trying to think of something to do with the Seven of Cups, and it basically is to like block you, or they're not gonna communicate with you, they're ignoring you, something like that for some of you. Others of you though, or maybe it's the same group, now it's kind of the opposite energy of how can I get Pisces back now? How can I make this up to Pisces? How can I, you know, what do I do now? Because we have it as the outcome, the Magician and Ace of Wands. So there's passion here, there's um, somebody making an effort. All right, so who's this King of Swords? What is he or she thinking? Six of Coin, Four of Swords, Ten of Swords. I'm not surprised. This person in the center though, yeah, there's a devil under there, could be a Capricorn, but they're putting on a fake front is kind of what I'm getting. Or they kind of, I feel like they, for some of you, they said, like, they, okay, they felt like, it feels like they thought they would, quote, teach you a lesson in some way, or they would show you that kind of energy. Because the Six of Coin, for some reason, feels kind of arrogant. Like, okay, well, I'll do this for you, and then I'm going to sit back with the Four of Swords and do nothing, and then that backfired. Whatever this person did, I feel like it backfired on them. They did the wrong thing. They made the wrong choice. But let me see. What is the Strength card? Knight of Wands. Because some of you might, I'm sorry, Knight of Coin. Some of you might have a child with this person, possibly. Nine of coins sometimes can be an older child, though. Or this is just the energy of not moving forward. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. What is a nine of coins? Do another one. Mm. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm getting. I'm picking up, like, this person's plan backfired. So it could have been, I think even eight of cups is under there. Now, this may not have happened yet, of course. This is a can be the future. So some of you may have not done this yet, but you may, okay, let's just say you guys split up, you go off on your own, you really didn't want to, you didn't want to have to go get a new apartment, you didn't have to want to live by yourself or anything like that, but you did what needed to be done with strength. Knight of coin, maybe you waited. Maybe you said, okay, let's see what happens. I love this person. I don't want to give up on the relationship. So you kind of waited with the knight of coin, but I see you then turning around because this person basically is shutting you out and blocking you. You're going to meet someone new, or you're going to go out with friends through your cups. You're going to go have fun. Um, you're going to be dancing with joy while this person has the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like, I think they kind of made a really bad mistake. Like they were going to show you or teach you a lesson, and, and it just it's not working out that way. But let me see. What is the High Priestess here? Two of Cups. These two wanted to come with it, so I am going to take them. So it would have been the Two of Cups world and then the Four of Cups. So there does seem to be some type of ending here, some type of ending of a cycle. Now that doesn't mean you guys will never get back together. It just means that this cycle, the way it's going, is ending and now there's a new offer. Now this offer with the Four of Cups could be from this person 
or this could be somebody new or something new. Doesn't have to be love with the Four of Cups. You know, maybe you get an offer from a friend to go out or, you know, you, I'm not sure exactly. Let me go to this other person on the foundation and see. Okay, they have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it could be them coming back in. I, I assume they would. Knight of Cups, Two of Coins, and then the Hanged Man. Okay. See, I kind of feel like this person realizes that they're, they do have love for you. We have the Knight of Cups here. Or they, maybe they thought they were going to go date somebody else, something. But now they're weighing up like their decision. What should they do with the Two of Coins? Now they're stopping to think about it. It's like they realize that they didn't treat you well or they did the wrong thing. or And all this comes back to the Four of Swords. I mean, sorry, the Ten of Swords is why I'm seeing this. This person, again, you may not be talking to them now. This is in the future. So let's say you try to contact them. You, you try to text them. You try to, you know, see how they're doing. And they're just like, nope, not talking to you. They give you, you know, very little and then do nothing. They're going to be sorry because you're going to move on. You're going to be happy. The universe, I feel, with the Three of Cups up there is going to bring something new in for you. With the, especially this Four of Cups. Because I don't read the Four of Cups always as something negative, like, you know, you don't want it. You may not want these cups down here. This is something new coming out of the heavens. This is a new opportunity. So again, maybe a new person coming in for you or a new friend, new something, a new job maybe. What is the Ace of Wands? Because now it looks like you're manifesting or taking this new opportunity. Oh, yeah. So that once, when you do go, so some of you may start dating somebody new. Maybe it is an earth sign or Leo or something, but person from the past is sad it could be a Virgo but they're not communicating with you so and it could be by the time they decide to come talk to you or something maybe they see online that you're already doing new things dating new people what is the three of cups up here yeah they're showing you ace of cups nine of swords okay and remember, the Knight of Swords can be, first can be this person, because they are using, you know, this, this air sign. Could be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But more than likely, the Knight of Swords is someone who can be very erratic. You know, sometimes he's just a really, he doesn't think before he acts. He's just all over the place. He can go very quick, very fast. So that might be what they're representing there, the Knight of Swords energy. But you have something new coming in. So it's almost like you gave this person chance after chance after chance, even though it's not really showing here. I feel like you love this person in the center. You love this person. But you knew the way it was going. There was just, you guys didn't see eye to eye. There was just too much fighting, something like that. But I feel like you may have known all along that if you move on and this person shuts you out, that you will wait and you love them, but you're not going to wait forever. And that how they treated you by blocking you, by not putting effort in, by just kind of casting you aside, what's going to happen is somebody new is coming in. So you have choices. It looks like, you, I mean, obviously you can go back to the past because this person is not communicating with you, but they are sad. So I feel like they are missing you. But the universe is bringing you this new Ace of Wands opportunity. So this person also, just so you know, probably will not reach out to you. So this is how they're feeling too. They're kind of stuck. They don't know what to do. They may be hermiting. They, when they see you online with other new people, they may feel very defeated and heartbroken and sad. Okay. So this might be nice for you to know what are they thinking? What are they feeling when all this goes down? Now, again, this is after you've waited. This is after you started maybe dating someone new or going out with new friends and things like that. So this could be this month. You may start that now. This may not happen until October. It depends on where you're, you are at in this situation, if this resonates for you. But I do see, obviously, I think you could probably go back to this person in the end if you, if you wanted to. It looks like they still care about you, but I don't know how well they treat you is the problem. That's what I don't see. Um, let me see Knight of Swords really quick. Let me see what else we can see. Knight of Swords. Messages, communication, moving on. Let me see one more. There's your card under there. This person you're dealing with could be an earth sign. There could have been an earth sign involved. That might have been maybe a third party. Maybe there was one that broke the two of you up. We also have cherry, which can be cancer. 
So it could be that you're also looking at the past when I see this, two of wands. New love and then the past. What did this person do? Did they all of a sudden take off? Did they get involved with somebody else? Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a really good week and take care.